Hey everybody, Randy with Low Buck LS, and I got Low Buck Tuck here uh, today. Just uh, keeping an eye on things and making sure I get this thing tuned right. So, just wanted to do a follow-up video from uh, uh, yesterday. I got that three-bar map sensor uh, wired in and installed, and installed that three-bar OS for uh, HP tuners. So. Um, and I did do a, a startup at the end of the last video there, but it was, you couldn't really see what was going on because, or here, I was using a headset and recording to my laptop. So, um, just wanted to do a, another startup here. Um, this is with the turbo on, with uh, that three bar map sensor installed and that enhanced three bar OS. And uh, this is where I need to learn to uh, start tuning the thing, I guess, because it does start and run, but uh, you'll see here it uh, idles pretty rough and seems like it's super lean. So here is uh, how it starts anyways. And this is not touching the pedals or anything, just... So you can see it starts and then it kind of stumbles. And it's barely running at maybe 500 rpm and you can see oh yeah you can see uh, this is my poor man's boost gauge just borrowed from from work it's like an oil field gauge and then if you the AFR meter down there is reading so lean that it doesn't even register on there so I'm thinking I need to richen it up fairly significantly at idle here uh, to get it to idle right. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, how it starts and runs, and that's yeah with that three-bar OS installed and the fuel table just copied from my stock uh, or the VE table just copied from my stock tin. Okay, I just wanted to add a second part to this video here now that. Seems like the truck has warmed up a bit or something's changed and yeah, now it won't even stay idling. So let me just demonstrate here. And again, not touching the pedals or anything. It tries, but just dies out. It's too lean. So I'm gonna go into that VE table and Richen it up a fair bit uh, in those cells that it runs at uh, during idle so I'll uh, switch over to my laptop screen here and uh, Show you what I'm gonna do there to try and get this thing to idle Okay, so as you can see I'm switched over to my laptop view again. I've got my tune open I'm gonna go into this uh, main VE table and it seems to be about these six cells right here that uh, the truck is operating in when it's idling so I want to richen up those cells pretty significantly so I'm going to add about 20 percent to uh, those six cells and then I'm going to make everything these four cells here I'm going to make those all 68 And these four cells here, I'm going to make those all 74. And these cells in here, I'm going to make 74 as well. These cells in here, I'm going to make 77. And this is all just to uh, get it basically drivable so uh, it can... Uh, so I can take it on 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 the street and do some some street tuning to the main VE table here. All these ones here, I'm going to make 80. These ones here, I'm going to make 73. Uh, this seems a little sketchy, but. We'll make these ones here 80. Same with these ones here, we'll all set to 80. And with these ones too. 
these ones too. Okay, and why didn't these ones go to 74? Basically, this whole section of table here. I'm going to make 74. That one I'm going to make 74 as well. Same with all of this, so. And I'll probably have to do some, f well. Shouldn't have to. Actually, I'll just t make these 73. These two cells right here will make 73, just to kind of smooth things out on the table. So all these pink cells are the ones that I've made changes to. So I'm going to save this and then turn my key on and we'll write this to the truck and see if our startup, see if it actually starts and stays running this time. So we'll flash it to the truck. Okay, so that is done. I'm gonna hop back over to the scanner. Connect to the vehicle. And we'll see if it starts any better this time. So we're connected. I'm going to start scanning and start the truck. And that actually sounds better. I guess you can't, probably can't hear it again because I've got a headset on and recording through my laptop. But it's actually, uh, yeah, you can see uh, right down here our... Uh, Wideband O2 is, well, it's in the 14 to 15 range, but at least it's in the ballpark. I think we can uh, um, take it out for a drive and uh, start doing some street tuning on the uh, other parts of our VE table. So uh, we'll call that a success. We've got the truck uh, running and idling. Uh, I'll turn off, uh, stop scanning here and turn off my laptop view and I'll show you a start um, from the other view one more time. So talk to you in a bit. Okay, just gonna show how it starts up now that I have uh, richened up those areas on the uh, VE table, the cells that it uh, idles in. So same deal, no, no foot on the pedals there. And we'll uh, show you how it starts now. Seems to run quite a bit better. Still stumbles a little bit here and there. Um, may have to work on the idle tuning a bit more, but it's definitely better than it was before, and I think it's good enough that we can uh, um, start taking it out on the street and doing some uh, tuning, street tuning of the rest of the VE table. So. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll uh, call it a success for now, and we'll uh, talk to you next time. Make sure to like and uh, subscribe and all that, and uh, have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.